Hello, welcome to my presentation of uh, Atalon Finder and its uh, features. Atalon Finder is uh, the central part in the whole application that uh, takes care about all your corporate data in uh, some structured way. Let's uh, see that uh, Finder uh, is an application which I'll just show you. Uh, you can run the Finder using this uh, notebook icon. Uh, or you can run the finder using the menu option and the finder allows you browse through your corporate projects uh, and activities. Here is the very basic uh, finder structure which contains the client folder, the project and uh, project milestones. Each uh, folder in Finder, like uh, the client folder for example, uh, contains some tabs which can contain corporate data. Therefore, for example, if I look into the com communication with the client, uh, I may get overview about the communication on the client and any uh, communication that happened on projects or the project milestones. Each uh, folder and project, and uh, with some exceptions also milestone, can contain any of these modules and uh, data that are coming from these modules. Therefore, you can store any communication with the project, you can uh, plan tasks on projects or clients, uh, you can upload and document on milestone project or client and so on, and also you can charge your timesheet on any of these folders and so on. This uh, information here indicates that, for example, if you place a message, that, for example, you send some email to a client or notification on a project milestone uh, and place it on the milestone, it's also visible on the project and uh, because it's on the client project, it's also visible uh, on the client uh, folder. There might be a little bit uh, more difficult to find the structures, uh, which I'll just show you now. Uh, there are three main types of uh, folders in the Finder. There is a folder itself, which contains a contact folder, some simple folder or asset, we call it. It's uh, some kind of folder bound to a uh, stock item. Then folders, under any folder, you can place a project. This project might be simple project, master and slave. These uh, I will uh, describe a little bit later. And uh, projects may contain activities, and activities may contain subject activity as well. And this is the basic example of uh, the very basic structure where you have a client folder, simple project, and uh, the project phase or milestone or you can call it any way you want. The nice thing on this is that uh, all these uh, folders are and projects and activities are completely customizable with its own forms, with, with, with its own uh, structure of tabs. Therefore, each uh, company role uh, and, and user profile may uh, see a different structures, may see a different uh, features in the application. These features are, as I mentioned, for example, estimates being sent to clients, orders, uh, communication on project and anything else. There is one special structure for uh, projects that using which you can uh, track, for example, campaigns uh, through Finder as well, and it's being used in mass correspondence. And this is a project master-slave relationship. This is just a special kind of uh, project that you can create on the folder. Uh, this project is called a campaign. And uh, you can bind any other projects uh, to slave folders or slave projects. This folder might be some campaign member, for example, some student that registers on a seminar. Uh, this might be his presence on the seminar and this might be the seminar or scholarship or, or training uh, which, which is being held for the student as well. And this structure just uh, is, is here for some, some simple indication that 
there are some other options of Finder that can be customized and configured. And it is advised that you consult with, with any uh, certified uh, Atalon consultant that, that understands these, uh, these structures and, and may help you with, uh, with the setup. One of the other Finder structures is also uh, completely folder structure. The, this can be indefinite uh, tree structure where you have for, folder under folder and then some project as well. So like it, let's look at uh, how this uh, is presented in the application. Uh, here the first column in Finder is just a filter for types of uh, folders uh, within Finder. I can just double click and it hides this filter. Now I have uh, I can I can click on any any client for example and here I have a selection of projects that I can create under uh, the, the client itself for example I can create some support project put some description say when it's going to start uh, and this information is a customizable form that may be completely adjusted using uh, Windows application that we use for uh, setup of this uh, application. After you create the project, I will maximize it, you have the project which is set up to cover needs of, for example, some support. So you can track any communication here, you can uh, track received invoices, you can issue new invoices using some billing source, uh, you can schedule uh, project events on this and, and so on. And this, these tabs are cost completely customizable based on the type of folder type and type of project that you are working on. For example, here if you use uh, several project milestones, uh, you can get quickly uh, project overview which indicates whether there is some activity on the project itself. Just here from the project actually you can create new task saying for example you want uh, to contact a client. There is some pro progress indication here on the task I will just save it and here you, you immediately see that uh, there is some task pending on uh, this this uh, project uh, activity. Once you want to send an email to client, for example, you can select it from uh, the, the contact database. You can, for example, use the template if there is any existing, or you can just write uh, some email, which is, for example, estimate and send it. Here I don't have a mail server set up but you see that the communication is already tracked on the progress milestone of, of this project. I may even select different kind of communication channels for example SMS messages. Uh, I can uh, send some internal notices to my colleagues for example I want to send it to external John and user Jane. I want to describe the project progress and discuss this with my colleagues and now I, I just see that there's uh, another activity on the project being held and I can reply to it and continue communication All this communication which is currently being held on this activity should be visible completely from the client folder so I get complete overview about any activities that happened uh, in connection to clients uh, projects. So this was just a brief introduction of how Finder works and how it's connected to other modules. Uh, and we'll in next tutorials uh, go deeper to this to show you how uh, separate uh, functions work and how it will affect uh, your visibility of data in Finder.